Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are setting up for the last um, rummer sale of the year, but I just want to point out these sunflowers. Like, we didn't even plant them here, so they just magically appeared. So, hopefully you're having a great day like these sunflowers are. Let's get started on this garage. So this is kind of the mess I'm dealing with. Yeah. Got a lot of work ahead of me today. Most of that is my aunt's stuff. I'm just going to be focusing on doing my stuff on this half of the garage because that's usually what I have. And then I'll have like my cash out table outside this time. I had it inside when I had just my stuff because it was smaller. But there'll be so much stuff packed into like this whole area that we'll have to sit outside. Alright guys, I got my side cleared. The table's set up kind of how I want them. Now, I know my aunt is going to complain because she's not here to, to, to bark demands at me. So, yeah. Alright, y'all. I have most of my stuff out here now. Except for a couple of things that I still have at home to bring. I couldn't grab them because I was coming right after work. So, I didn't want them just to sit in my car for a, forever. So, I have more laundry stuff to bring, basically. But... Not as much as last time, I feel, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes when I spread it out. All right, y'all, let me show you the walkthrough. I'm done setting up. So it took me longer than I expected. My aunt was blowing up my phone and she's acting like a five-year-old um, because I moved everything to the other side of the garage. I didn't wait for her to show up whenever she was going to show up. Yeah, she, yeah, like I said, literally acting like a five-year-old I wanted to be like you're the adult here I mean I'm an adult too but you, you guys get what I'm saying anyway so I have the um pads tampons and then uh, diapers I kind of ran out of the room I was Hoping to squish this stuff more down, but I still have a little bit more to bring. So, like, shampoo, conditioner, hair dye, toothpaste, mouthwash, lotion. That has a little more lotion, but I guess I've been not buying it. Because I don't really sell it very often. Body wash. Facial care. I have a lot of deodorant. I, I still have more. I just I wanted them to look nice, so I just kind of was having fun laying them out, but then... I realized how much time I was taking, so I just stopped. Then shaving stuff. Then I have the little bit of toilet paper that I have. I think I might have a tiny bit more at home. Then I have my, um, not laundry, like dish stuff, hand soap. And then I just put through all these in a box. I sell them all for a dollar. The glade. Glade, gla glade, yeah, the glade ones don't sell very like at all. Even the advanced ones, I have a dollar on, and these ones haven't sold last time either. I don't know. These didn't sell either, which I was shocked. I put two dollars. I don't know if that's reasonable. I don't know. Sometimes I double like double guess myself. Then I have. This table is pretty empty, but like I said, I have more of this stuff to bring. I just didn't want it to go bad in my car. So I'm going to be filling up this table, and then I have some more to fill up over there. So I just wanted to make sure I had some room. And there's a bee that's <laughs> flying around that's just driving me nuts. So I don't know if you guys, if you guys do have a rummage sale I've personally never set a gold hit. I just kind of sell and, you know, I'm thankful for whatever I sell. But this year, I have a sales goal. And it's not because I want to get rid of a certain amount or I'm whatever. So, if I hit $500, I'm going to get myself a something small to treat myself. And then if I hit $750... I'm going to grab like a medium size thing to treat myself. But my goal is $1,000, which seems like a lot because it doesn't look like I have $1,000 worth of stuff out here. Um, I definitely was second guessing my goal because I made the goals before I set up the garage. So I'm kind of second guessing that now because um, 
yeah anyway so a thousand dollars i will that's a, like a spa day to myself like i've been wanting to go for a, quite some time i've just been really stressed and everything so i really wanted to go but that's my goal if i hit the thousand dollars in sales that way it'll drive me to uh i don't know i can't push sales on people because it's it's a rummage sale but you know i don't know i'm just being hopeful well guys it's friday morning and i got here i set up my stuff and guess what my aunt totally acting like a four-year-old didn't come set up her stuff and just left all her stuff in the way so my poor grandma had to work around it i tried to help her the best i could that's all her stuff in the corner um yeah it's just really awkward looking because people want to look through it and most of it's like not priced or anything so yeah all right so i heard i have some competition from my grandma she saw from one of her church friends that someone else in town is a couponer and selling their stuff so well we'll see hopefully i do well anyway this is a layover of how everything's gonna look today um, i'm gonna have my table here and um, this is all my stuff i thought i had more um like hair dye but i guess not and i thought i had more body wash but i didn't bring more i can bring, always bring some more tomorrow how this looks it's my grandma stuff we're not open yet so she's got some time to figure her stuff out and then this is the this table is very clogged but that's okay and then of course all my Priscilla we've been getting and then on that side I have more um, laundry stuff I forgot how much Priscilla had so I had to move the all and then the so like softeners and stuff over there all right so we're one a little over one hour in I've sold a, a decent amount we got slammed pretty pretty decent now it's noon I didn't open till 11 today I wanted to give my grandma some time to set up so it's noon so I expect us to be pretty slow just because it's lunchtime people are going to home for lunch or you know going out to eat for lunch whatever so but I made a a decent amount in the first hour so i'm totally happy with being a little slow this hour as long as it picks up a little later in the day as well so unfortunately not a single pack of diapers sold i sold a, f a couple packs of pads i mean more than i've sold last time so that's a plus a few toothpaste here and there more deodorant than i thought i would sell since i didn't sell any last time People are looking at the sun shakes, but they're putting them back. I don't know if they're too expensive. I looked at, I compared the Walmart prices. They might be a little expensive, so I might mark them down tomorrow. Except for these, the snuggle ones. I know how much these are at Walmart for sure. And then the Arm & Hammer. I feel like those are good price. It's, I feel like these are just not that big of a name brand versus Gain or um downy so yeah also sold quite a few of my food items i have um some seasoning the taco seasonings for four packs for like a dollar i sold all of those and i sold two of these i um, tried them and it's i didn't care for them that much so yeah i'm not gonna try to force myself to drink those especially with uh, how much i hate water and yeah i just prefer carbonation and soda and everything and i have these we got these we kept getting these for like money makers and i didn't well i didn't care for them that much so whether i sell these and these i'll probably eat and or drink them if not we i got all five of these for a little money maker so selling them for a dollar for all of them i don't know if not we don't cook that much so i'll just maybe take them to work and leave them out at work also apparently no one wants these 
I have makeup 50 cents and everyone digs through them and I've sold like six, seven items, but no one has gotten a single one of these, which I think is funny. So, oh well, maybe I'll put together a mystery pack or something on Facebook Marketplace. Alright guys, it's the end of my first day, so this is Friday at the end. I'm way beyond exhausted because it's definitely my, past my bedtime. It's about 6 o'clock, and I roughly guesstimate that I've sold about $350 worth of stuff. I didn't do the math. I'm just too tired. I really need to finish cleaning up and get home so I can go to bed. Well, eat dinner first, of course, and then go to bed so I can get up and come and be here bright and early for tomorrow. I'll do a quick overview of what I have left. So I actually sold a lot of the pads and everything, more than I expected. Not much over here. Not much there either. Still haven't sold a single Brazil, but I did sell one of these at least. Um, yeah. So I've sold about a third of the laundry products I've had, which is good for me I'm okay with that all right guys it's Saturday morning my aunt actually came and set up some of her stuff she's starting to not be so mad I guess um she came last night instead of watching football which I'm surprised but yet she had the nerve to move around some of my stuff so whatever she does it every time she doesn't like how I put it out but that shouldn't matter. Should, but my grandma got some help to put out some more of her stuff that was buried. So that's super nice. And hopefully she can get rid of some of those. So I guess we'll see how today goes. It's very cold outside right now. I didn't look at the weather before I dre like dressed myself and left. It is 46 degrees. And I'm wearing sandals. And <laughs> yeah, I should have like more clothes on. But that's okay. It is what it is. So hopefully it gets in the 60s pretty soon. Alright guys. I just had the rudest customer. Um, so literally she was going around and asking. She'd pick up a product of mine. Ask me when I bought it. How long I've had it for. And like I tried to rotate out my stuff. So it, it's, it's not long. Um anything that so this is the last sale I'll have for the year and then everything that I put away um that's like can go bad I don't store it like I'll try to sell it on Facebook over the winter but anything like diapers or paper towel or anything that is fine then I just I'll mark it that way I know to try to push it next year or mark it down or whatever but oh man and then her, her, she had a friend with her and she was picking up other things and why is this so expensive? Why is this one ex so expensive? And I was like, have you seen the prices at the store, ladies? Like, then um, she was looking at a pair of shoes and they're not mine. And she's like, I don't see a name brand on these. Where'd you buy them from? And I was like, they're not mine. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what brand they are. I don't know if they're men's, women's, whatever. Oh, this is why I left retail. I worked retail for a very, very long time, but those are the kind of people that why I left retail. So someone just stopped here and I haven't seen this person in like 10 years. I actually got my oldest cat from them. Um, she uh, was having problems with the cat getting in her cabinets and she really didn't like it. And she got the cat from the Humane Society and she's gonna, um, give him back to the Humane Society if she couldn't find a home. So I took the cat. His name is Sherlock. So the, Sherlock is my oldest cat. And she has, she, she recognized me and she's like, oh, how's Sherlock? And everything. And I was like, oh, he's doing good. So it was super nice to actually see someone I know. Because uh, not a lot of people that I know come to the Roman Shale. So that was actually really nice and refreshing after the ladies that I just dealt with. So it's about... 11 30 so like halfway through the day almost um i've been open for about four hours so it's looking a little rough i was gonna try to clean up but someone par just parked so 
yeah have really have i only sold two diaper things so far and no more pads for today but i mean that's okay these can still refine so i'm not worried about having to push them all right so i figured out what my goals are so if i hit 500 dollars in sales i'm gonna treat myself to a pedicure i don't get them very often maybe like once every other year so that'd be something nice if i hit 750 I'm gonna treat me and my boyfriend out to a fancy meal and then if I hit the thousand obviously that's my goal um then it's gonna be a spa day whether what that spa day includes I am not sure yet I haven't figured that part out yet all right guys it's Sunday so it's the last day just put up the sign now Sunday mornings for the first hour are usually slow which is fine by me because I can just watch videos or look at the ads, clip coupons that I usually don't have time for on Sundays. So that's always nice for me. And try to make a game plan on what to pack up and what to bring home and everything, you know. Also guys, I know this isn't couponing related, but one of my favorite non-couponing YouTube channels I actually bought merch from. His name is The Boring Old Guy. He talks about, um, like, he goes hiking and everything. He brings his adorable dog, and they go hiking, and he'll show you, like, where he's going hiking, what trail it, or what lake it is, and everything. It's really interesting. Um, he is one of the nice, like, the night. he's, like, the grandpa of YouTube, in my opinion. So, if you guys like nature or anything, definitely go check him out. Um, yeah. He, like I said, he's like a grandpa. I know lately he's been doing a lot of like um, cooking videos, which are fun too, because he does a lot of uh, cast iron cooking and I've never seen those before. So it's very interesting to like watch it. And um, I don't know, I have like, I don't think I've ever used a cast iron skillet to cook. So I don't know. I'm not big into cooking, but I like watching cooking videos, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's very interesting. So unfortunately, today has been super slow, like slower than I expected it to be. I only had three customers, one that bought something, but fortunately for me, he bought stuff from all three of us that are selling today. So it's a little win for everyone so far. And he even brought up the couponer that everyone's been telling me about, about, um, that lives a couple towns over that got in trouble. Um, I don't really know. I, so people have told me that she, uh, got caught at like Walmart or Target or whatever. I don't know how to use CCAP. I've never CCAPed anyone because people change over time. Like where I was 10 years ago is totally different from where I am today so I I try not to look at people's like history because some people change some people don't all right it's about noon and I barely got any customers today um I'm gonna try to combine some stuff to get rid of one table early maybe if I can kind of pack up a little bit I can stay open a little later to try to make some more money I ho hopefully I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, y'all, we're done for today. Let's go over what I have left. So I know I do have to take that home and use it. Someone did damage it, so it leaks on the backside. So I'll just use it at home, not the end of the world. It happens like once a year. Someone dropped a deodorant last year and it chunked really bad. So I had to take that home. So didn't sell that many more um, pads. I did bring and restocked uh yesterday because i sold most of these so sold a few today but not as much as i was hoping for still stocked up on diapers but that's okay i can store them for over the winter and they're just not going to go anywhere sold a few more shampoo and conditioner so i don't have that many left well i basically only have conditioner left because everyone buys just the shampoos that's why i started doing a couple sets um, like these are stuff like that we normally, well, we normally get Dove, but like not this size. So it's harder for me to like make a little bundle on 
like Facebook if I was trying to use a Facebook marketplace. So that's why I wanted to sell it as a set because if someone bought just the shampoo, I'd be stuck with the conditioner forever. Or same with the Aussie. Like we, I don't even, I got this from CVS. So like I, I barely ever get this or the method like may, yeah. Anyway, now that I'm done rambling, sold quite some quite a few toothpaste not that many i sold almost all the colgates except for one which of the toothbrushes which i'm surprised i thought oral b was more of a name brand but that's okay i can't seem to sell these i think i had these the last two rummages same with these mouthwashes from colgate looks like i'll have to try to deal something with those same with the lotion i still have i sold one lotion the whole no, two lotions, one of these, and then there was an Old Spice lotion that I sold, but I, yeah, I don't know. I don't use lotion really, so sold more of the body wash, which is great because I didn't bring that many. I think I brought, I only brought like, a, uh, like three or four because... They just weren't selling. Have a lot of this stuff left. And this stuff wasn't selling. Um, but you gotta have like the right kind of people for the, for like this kind of stuff. Now as for the toilet paper and everything. I sold them all. I reduced the, the Astro Pro down to $2. Just because they do expire in. Oops, it's wrong way. Um, well, this one expires in 2026, but the children's one expires really soon, so I was hoping someone would buy that one, um, because it expires in February, so I'm going to try to make a children's bundle with, like, the vitamins and maybe hopefully sell it on the marketplace, because I would hate to have to let that go to waste. There's, I don't know if I could even donate something like that, um. Yeah, anyway, didn't sell these. I sold one. Um, so, I don't know. I have a marked $6. I think that might be too much for some people. They are $10 in store. I figured that's a decent price. But maybe next year I'll mark them down to $5. I'm not sure yet. Didn't. So, I sold most of the laundry stuff except for oopsies, the Persil. I didn't sell a single Persil. Last rummage, I think I sold four of the large bottles, which I'm just shocked. Everyone looked at it. They picked one up, looked at it, put it back. I know, like, Persil's a name brand, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just a brand they've never tried, and they're not willing to try something new. Who knows? One of my least favorite things that I hear all the time at these rummages or stock file sales that I have is someone will pick up something and I'll be like, oh, I just bought this. Okay, and you're not going to run out of it? You're not going to need it in the future? Why do you not want to buy it now and save money buying it now? I just, I guess I just don't get people... Alright guys, I took a break from packing up because I needed to see how much I actually made all three days. I couldn't wait anymore. So let's go over the totals. So the first day I made $410 and then my grandma made $28.75. The second day I made $272. My grandma made $76.75. And my aunt, who came a day late, made $44.25. This last day, that it's been super slow, I made $127.50. My grandma made $12 and my aunt made $23. So that means in total, I made $809.50. My grandma made $116.75 and my aunt made $67.25. Now this is personally, I believe like 
the most I've ever made. I think my highest one was like 700 some, but I don't remember. But now that I have a YouTube channel and everything, I can look back next year when I have them to see how well I did. But yeah, I think I did pretty well. I think in my large goal, um, I think I'm going to give myself next weekend to do um, Facebook in my area to see if I can get $200 worth more of sales. I don't think that's going to happen, but I guess it, I can only find out. It's really hard for me to do Facebook Marketplace over winter just because working third shift and it being it's dark like all the time where I live so it's like pitch black dark at like 4 p.m so um it's just really hard I hate I don't want to make people like go out during while it's dark out or anything so yeah Anyway, I really appreciate y'all's support. Thank you so much for watching this video and continue supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys are doing stockpile sales, rummage sales, selling on Facebook Marketplace or whatever, I hope you're doing well this year. Um, definitely, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the most I've sold this year. So let's get it, guys.